Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Alex Fresco and today we are here to see basics of the parametric programming. What is a parametric program? So it is just a program that uh, uses variable in order to adapt dimensions or type of machining so you can pretty much do uh, all you want with variables. Let me start saying that we have uh, three standard variables built into our software, which are LPX, LPY, and LPZ. So the meaning of the variables is length of the panel along X, Y, or Z. If you want to use more variables, uh, we have basically the variable tab here and you can create as many variables you want there are no limitations and so you can get really creative at this point let's start uh, to create a simple parametric program we will see maybe some more advanced uh, stuff uh, in a future video Meanwhile, let's start uh, to add a panel. We don't really care about the size in this case because since uh, the program will be parametric, we can change it later on and use any size we want. So we just confirm it and we can start with our drilling maybe. So we go directly in machining operation. Boring. And here I'm gonna start specifying the coordinate of the first hole. So I'm gonna use in X LPZ divided by 2, which is basically the length of the panel in Z, so the thickness divided by 2. In Y, I don't know, I'm just gonna use 40. Then diameter and depth. So let me say that if the same coordinates are true also for the other corners, we can enable them all because we have the multiple selection for the reference corner. Then we can add repetitions if we need to. In this case, I'm going to use the linear. Um, how many repetitions? This is basically the amount uh, of holes. Then the, the gap, and from angle it means you know the direction. So if I want to go in X or Y, I can control it from here, or in an angle maybe. You know, I can also do, do 45 or whatever it is. So it's really up to us. At this point, we can. Confirm. I'm going to use the same machining to create maybe the boring line. So I'm going to start from 100 and 100 in X and Y. Diameter 5. Depth, whatever it is. So in this case, I'm going to use 10. Repetitions. So we have seen linear and this time I'm going to use the matrix that allows me to repeat in both directions, so X and also Y. I'm gonna just use a formula in here on this field because we can specify formulas in every field in to be solid because the software is able to give us the result. And I'm gonna say, okay, LPX, so the length of the panel in X minus 200 because we remember we started from 100 and if we want to keep 100 also on the opposite side we have to use 200 otherwise I mean I can do more or less so it depends what I need to do then we close the parentheses everything has to be divided by the gap and it's usually plus one then number of repetitions in, in Y 
in this case is 2, is fixed and uh, for the step instead I can use my length of the panel in Y minus 200 for the same reason we have seen before so if we started from 100 if we want to keep the same distance it will be 200 otherwise it can be more or it can be less that's up to us so calculate ok we have I guess all the drilling and let's say that I don't know we want a central hole for the dowel construction only if the panel is wider than 500 let's uh, remember actually in B-Solid we can copy and paste pretty much anything so geometries, machining, you know, or whatever it is so we copy this one, Control c Control v so I'm using the keyboard this is the copy at this point we can change what has to be changed actually I'm gonna keep these two reference corner here I'm gonna change of course the position along the Y that will be LPY divided by 2 so the length of the panel Y divided by 2 minus half of the gap so either way I can do uh, minus 32 divided uh, by 2 or write directly system is the same exact thing and uh, actually before confirming we can go in the advanced tab and in properties here is where we can specify conditions so we said we want these central holes only if the panel is wider than 500 millimeters so we say length of the panel in Y so the width is greater than 500 ok we confirm so as you can see the machining is there but right now it's off it's hidden because the panel is 500 so it is not greater than 500 it's 500 in this case if it is what we want to do as long as the panel goes over it it will be turned on automatically otherwise if it will be less 499 or 500 it will be off I mean 499 I'm using just numbers that are less than 500 right but if uh, instead you want basically to start adding the central uh, two holes from 500 exact and over in that case we can also say properties so greater or equal 500 so right now 499 is less and those are off 500 there you go now you have your holes then what else is missing here the sizing of the part so we can select the master geometry whenever you insert a panel comes with it and apply 
the sizing using the milling correction external with enough compression bit about the depth 0 0.1 and I'm gonna enable the through cut if I want to start always in the center of the panel because in this case I'm using a flat table machine we can instead of using this function here to change the starting point we can actually go into the machining data tab and use the initial extension so we go uh, negative lpx divided by 2 and voila I will be starting always from the center of the panel of course we can change lead in lead out and confirm now let me just add some excess material all, all around the part so we can uh, see some material removal and play Now remember, we have uh, actually created this uh, program using variables. I mean, we only have used the standard variables built into the software, but I mean, they were enough to create this simple program. And so that means that I'm able to go back into my panel, double click on it and change the size. And everything will be adapted automatically see the program is always ready to go this is how to create a simple parametric program in the future we will also see something more advanced but I think for now this is enough to give at least uh, a good starting point I hope this has been helpful for you thank you for watching remember to subscribe so you will not miss any new video see you at the next time